work to continue spreading the good news of salvation, to be agents of evangelization. In one of his letters to the priest, Pope Francis said that the priesthood is anchored on four pillars, closeness to God. We are all called to be close to God. The God who invited us into this ministry, we did not call ourselves, and we cannot even ordain ourselves for this ministry. God called us, and God ordained us, and God sent us to go out and spread his goodness. So we must always be close to him. In On Sunday, as we were celebrating the Palm Sunday, in this cathedral, I told the people about the donkey. And I said that the donkey that carried Jesus Christ into Jerusalem, a few days later, try to go out of the city so that it may come again and enjoy the welcome from the people. But funny enough, nobody took notice of that donkey. And it went to explain and even to lament to another donkey, telling the other one, you know what? I thought they were going to welcome me with branches and even put their laces on the ground but they did it. The other donkey told him, you know without Christ, you are nothing. <laughs> Even for us, we are nothing if we are not close to God. We have been called to do his work. We have been called to do his ministry. It is not ours. We have just been entrusted. And that is why God has anointed us to do what he himself would be doing. Let us not forget the words of Saint Teresa who said we are the hands of God. He has anointed us so that he will use our hands, he will use our legs, he will use our being to bring people closer to him. He says also that the other pillar is closeness to the vision. Closeness to the bishop. I know you are close to me, so. And if you are not close to me, then I'll be, I'll come closer to you. So I don't need to explain that one. The third pillar, he said, is closeness to other priests. Closeness to other priests. You cannot manage it alone. You need the support of your brothers. You need the support of the people who you share that common identity of the priesthood. For support, for encouragement, for sharing, for companionship, we need each other. And the fourth one he said is closeness to the people. We are called from the people and we are sent to the people. We must be close to the people that we serve. Closeness in this context means that we must appreciate them for who they are. We must love them because they are God's people. We must appreciate them in whichever way possible. We must be ready to work with them. That is what collaboration is all about. The ministry of Jesus Christ is for all of us. We must unite, put our minds and hearts together to continue this ministry. Today I want us to honor in a very special way our priests who are celebrating a very significant moment of their priesthood and celebrating their jubilee this year and that is Father John Jenga. I don't know whether he's around. Mera. Father Paul Mirino. Father Paul Mirino works in the prison. And you know, one day a 
priest went to his bishop and uh, he went complaining about the place that the bishop had sent him. Problem with his parish council. They could not agree on anything. And the bishop told him, now I don't have any other place that I can take you. You'll just have to go back to your parish. But before he left bishop's office, bishop called him back and told him, you know what? There is one ministry that I think is available, and that is the prison ministry. <laughs> and uh, if you're willing to take it, then I will give it to you. And the priest was so excited and he said to the bishop, Bishop, I will take it even right now if you want. Then the bishop told him, no, you just go back, celebrate your farewell mass with the people, and then the following week you can go to that new appointment. So the priest went back to his parish and he told the parishioners that he was going to, to leave the parish. And uh, they said to him, then celebrate for us your final mass. And then the priest celebrated the final mass and uh, everything was okay. And finally, during the Matangazo, the chairman of the parish came and asked the priest, but where are you going? Then the priest told him, I'm going to prepare a place for you. <laughs> Let us enter a moment in silence and reflect upon the world. 